Yep. My name is Irina Kuchma. Hello. Uh, I work for ICO, which is an uh, organization work, working with library consortia in Eastern Europe, but also in uh, Middle East, uh, Africa, Southeast Asia. And uh, I'm here to talk about Open Air Project. Uh, this, uh, my organization coordinates uh, open air activities uh, in uh, Eastern Europe. And open air stands for open access infrastructure. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Open access. Uh, open air stands for open access infrastructure for research in Europe. And uh, we have three foundations in the way we work. So we uh, support <coughs> participatory design, and uh, we're building infrastructure with all possible stakeholders in scholarly communication, uh, which in our sense means open access repositories and open access journals. Uh, we want to be researcher centric, so we uh, we're trying to come up with uh, easy workflows. Uh, we want researchers to deposit once and then be compliant with funders mandates, institutional mandates, uh, some other mandates and requirements they might have. And we also want this compliance to happen um, uh, seamlessly without really affecting research pro uh, processes as such. And it's an infrastructure that uh, operates 24 hours, seven days a week. It's supported uh, uh, by ICM and also other partners. Um, uh, and it's a pan-European project. Um, so that's a little bit small picture uh, to explain how it works. So we harvest uh, metadata from uh, publication repositories, from data repositories, uh, from Zenodo repository. Uh, we curate that metadata and then uh, we expose them uh, via different uh, user-oriented uh, services. And uh, those services we are providing uh, for project coordinators, people who coordinate, uh, for example, European Commission funded projects or any other research projects in the institutions, uh, and also funders, researchers, and also other systems that would like to use our APIs. And uh, we're dealing with uh, publications, data sets, and also research-related information like projects, uh, authors, etc. Uh, so Open Air is an infrastructure that uh, currently has over 8 million uh, publications, uh, 7 million authors, uh, 460 plus uh, data providers, meaning repositories and open access journals. Uh, we have uh, 80,000 publications linked to project information and uh, 700 data sets linked, linked to publications and we would like to, ex to continue more with linking publications and data sets because we, we think that that's a missing link. Huh? And then we have many organizations and currently we have two funders working with us, European Commission and Wellcome Trust in the UK. Uh, here is a portal, so we have uh, a production portal which is openair.eu and we have a new portal which is bitter, openair.eu, so we'll be showing some slides of both portals. And uh, if you come to openair, you can search uh, uh, for publications, for data sets, for projects, for people, for organizations. and. Uh, when you search, for example, for publications, you'll find an article which is linked to related data sets. And when you click data sets, you, you can have access to those data sets that are deposited uh, in uh, data repositories uh, or institutional repositories. Uh, then we also link to project information. So, for example, you can uh, uh, select only publications that came as a result of certain projects. Uh, and 
part of our open air activities is also to make sure that uh, researchers and project coordinators uh, understand what it exactly is required uh, from the European Commission. So what, are, what is an open access pilot uh, in uh, FP7? What, what are open access requirements in Horizon 2020? So we have uh, uh, web pages and also short leaflets uh, researchers and project coordinators uh, can download and just make sure that they understand everything uh, what is required. And also in uh, every European Union country we have national open access desks. Um, so in Poland it's ICM. Um, we have similar organizations in all other European countries. And uh, uh, we also encourage uh, introducing uh, institutional and national open access policies uh, in Europe which are aligned with current uh, European Commission open access policy in Horizon 2020. Because we think that uh, it makes sense to have more or less similar requirements across Europe and uh, hopefully globally. Because otherwise if everybody would be asking different things from researchers that might be confusing. And uh, yeah, we were happy to see that, for example, uh, Research Council of Czech Republic last week uh, introduced open access recommendations, which are very much aligned with uh, <coughs> European Commission's open access policy. And also Slovenia is building a national open science portal and is coming up with a national mandate. So it's really good to see pan-European developments, but also some national developments. Um, uh, if a researcher wants to make sure that uh, he or she uh, performs rightly according to contract obligations, so if he or she is supposed to deposit uh, publications according to funding requirements, uh, and if a researcher is not sure whether an, an institutional repository, a subject repository he or she needs exist, they can go to open air portal and uh, find out whether there is an institutional repository where he or she can deposit or there is a shared repository that was set up uh, by CERN, Zenoda, which was already mentioned earlier. And it's a place where every researcher um, can go and deposit uh, publications, grey literature data sets. And uh, what is good about Zenoda is that when you deposit your data sets or publications there, you'll get free DOIs, which would be like a publication record. Uh, and uh, that's how Zenoda looks like. And our recent feature is that uh, it's integrated with GitHub. So when you publish software on GitHub, uh, you can also uh, deposit it in uh, Zenoda and you can have a DOI for the software piece you've published and um, you can create uh, your own community so it could be a project community or institutional community of course if you don't have your own institutional repository and uh, use it <coughs> freely. Uh, then for project coordinators, so if you, if you receive funding from uh, European Commission, uh, you can use Open Air to integrate uh, uh, your reporting to European Commission uh, with making your publications available. So we have so-called application box uh, for re uh, researchers. They can uh, uh, download all publication information they have in open air and uh, uh, showcase it on uh, uh, their project pages or they can uh, uh, report all their publications uh, just clicking one button they can report all their publications from open air to the European Commission. Um, Two minutes. Uh, so that's, that's an example how a project automated project reporting uh, on publications looks like uh, in the uh, open air project. Uh, we also have some features where you can uh, monitor project productivity, how many publications uh, appear when, uh, what is the percentage of open access publications, uh, where they are located. Uh, 
and uh, also we are trying to build some uh, linkages between uh, cooperation between different projects. Uh, so we, we, we're trying to see how different projects funded by different uh, European Commission uh, departments uh, are interlinked with each other. And uh, we have country pages. We would like to see which country page uh, from Poland with all the repositories uh, and uh, uh, in order to be part of open air uh, we have sev several uh, layers of compatibility so we have uh, open air guidelines how you can be compatible and if there are some repository managers in the rooms uh, we'll be having uh, webinars uh, for repository managers working with different repository platforms next week and then on uh, April 1st. So I do encourage you to participate. And uh, we'd like to work with uh, national funders uh, in Poland, for example, to be able to provide them um, with usage statistics and other kind of metrics uh, we are currently having for European Commission and Welcome Trust.